Today we're going to learn how to do a quick adhesive retouch on your air system in between services. Hi, I'm Steve Luttrell, your hair loss consultant, and welcome to my channel, The Real Deal, where I talk about your hair loss, why you've lost your hair, and is there anything you can do to get it back. Hey guys, it's one of those weeks where I'm crazy busy and I don't have time to do a full service, but I'd like to get by a few more days. So today I'm going to show you how to touch up your adhesive on the front and back of your hair system when it starts to slide or become loose and you don't really want or have time to go in or do your own service at home. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you have the right tools. I like to have my brush for my adhesive, my adhesive, my alcohol for cleaning, and also a dry clean washcloth and some paper towels. So the back of hair is a little trickier. You need either a two-way mirror, one in the front, one in back. Tri mirrors are really nice because this allows you to see in one mirror and see the back in the other, like in the dressing rooms. But the back is not as crucial because there's no hairline. So you're not looking for this stealth hairline because you have hair covering the edge of the base of the hair system in the back. All right. So let's lift the back up. And we're going to lift it up to about where we lifted the other meets front back. We're going to lift it up halfway up the head like we did with the front. Again, just like the front. We're going to secure the base down so it's out of our way when working on the scalp area. Okay, so the scalp is the same. We're going to, whatever adhesive residue that might be on the scalp, we're going to move it toward the middle of the scalp. Again, moving the washcloth around so you have clean, dry areas that you're moving the dirt and the oils. Okay, so that pretty much takes care of that. The scalp's pretty clean. Now for the base of the hair system. Remove your band. And I like to hold the front down like this and wipe toward the middle. You can hold the front wipe toward the middle. <laughs> Pretty clean. All right. All right. So again, take a touch up bottle, touch up brush, apply a little ball of adhesive. And this time, be a little easier. We're going to apply it to the scalp. Come around the edge. Same thing. Work your way out and around. Now, you see I have some regrowth of hair in here. I'm not going to shave that or try to shave that at this point. Um, considering that there's still a little bit of adhesive and residue in the hair. Again, I'm looking for a quick fix just for another three days, four days, five days, maybe seven days even, depending on the, uh, the person. And you're gonna continue on both sides and across the top of the scalp. Again, I'm just looking for a thin layer of adhesive. So I have some tack at the base can adhere to. Okay, another thing I like to do with the back is apply a thin layer 
around the edge. Just helps those edges grab the base, or grab, just helps those edges grab the scalp and gives you the best hold you can possibly have. Again, you don't have to get crazy and perfect with this. Most important is just thin it out so it becomes translucent and dries quicker. Okay, and you're gonna let that dry. All right. Okay, so once that's dried and clear, you're ready to lay the hair system down. So just lightly roll the hair system down into place. It's gonna have double tack. At this point, go ahead and brush out the hair system. Make sure you have no wrinkles, which you probably most likely should not, which if you did my instructions correctly, you should not have any wrinkles and you took your time laying it down. And now you're ready to jump in the shower and shampoo it. Okay guys, now one last thing. At this point, like I said before, you're going to jump in the shower and shampoo your hair. Now, because this is freshly adhered, and we're talking about a skin base, not lace, freshly adhered, the front edge might get a little compromised depending on how you position your head in the shower. But remember, it's fresh adhesive, it's water-based adhesive, so it does recure and come back to its original state, especially if it's fresh, like you just did it. After you've taken and you've come out of the shower and you've combed all the hair out and you start blow drying your hair, if that front edge is just coming up a little bit on the very edge, continue blow drying your hair, finish it off, get it pretty dry, make sure that your scalp is cool, you're in a cool area, take that little touch up adhesive, put a little teeny, teeny, teeny dot on there and just where the front edge is a little bit up or whatever, go in there and just slightly take it in there. You can even, if it's the brush is too big and it's even smaller, you could take a match or you could take a toothpick and go in there. I'm not a big fan of using Q-tips or not a big fan of using cotton balls. Remember, these are spun products with spun cotton, and so adhesive is going to grab and pull, and it's gonna be kind of like cobwebs or spider webs. It's gonna lay on the system and the base. This is why I prefer using a brush type product, or a toothpick also is very good. The flat edge toothpicks are really good. And just lightly lay that in there. Take your cool blow dryer, blow dry the adhesive dry clear, or let it dry on its own clear. Remember to pull it back if you are applying adhesive so it gives time for it to dry clear. If you lay it down when it's still white, it will remain white. So don't lay the adhesive down until you are a totally clear, translucent product. Okay? Okay guys, that's been my video today on how to do a quick adhesive touch-up repair and get you by for another few days. I hope you liked my video. If you have any comments or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. I'm Steve Luttrell, your hair loss consultant, and this has been The Real Deal. Have a great hair day, guys.